Friday brought a mixed bag of economic news. On the one hand, stronger than expected hiring by U.S. companies last month, overshadowed by the start of a trade war with potentially serious consequences for the world's two largest economies. The Chinese government will take out its wrath on the U.S. multinationals operating on Chinese soil by instituting all sorts of new regulations, increasing taxes, cutting off supply lines, not allowing certain employees to be hired by the, in, by the U.S. operations in China. But it could also lead to casualties in China, says former U.S. Trade Representative Stephen Land. China has a lot more stake than the United States in this negotiation. We will be harmed, we could be certainly with some dislocation, but the Chinese economy is not that strong internally. They can't take a battle with the U.S. President Donald Trump says it's a battle worth fighting to address the huge U.S. trade deficit with China, which has ballooned over the last 10 years to more than $375 billion. British investment manager James Bevan agrees with Mr. Trump, saying the trade imbalance has led to factory closures and job losses in the U.S. He knows and understands in a very visceral sense the challenges that face the American people. And I suspect that he will continue to push the agenda of better conditions and better outcomes for American workers. But the consequences of a trade war are likely to be worse than the problem Mr. Trump wants to solve, says Bankrate's Mark Hamrick on Skype. I really see uh, the threat of uh, trade disputes and those that are actually occurring as having two simple basic impacts on individuals, and that is higher prices, inflation, as well as slowing growth. And that is not only for the United States, so that's a global impact. Business interests in both China and the U.S. are hoping cooler heads will prevail. But with the U.S. also at odds with its trading partners in Europe, Canada and Mexico, trade experts say the continued posturing and the back and forth threats could depress business and consumer confidence, potentially erasing the improving employment picture and years of economic gains. Milar Sega for VOA News, Washington.